There's Alice hanging in her garden. Very cool. Uh oh. That is so cool. So we went and this was the United Kingdom gift shop and it used to have like a huge Cadbury chocolate display. And I go in, oh, there's a squirrel. It's gonna get you, Robert. A squirrel, he's gonna get you. Oh, he's like, who are you and what are you doing? Anyway, so I walked throughout that entire store and now it's just TTT. -t -t. And I asked a lady, I said, why is there no Cadbury chocolate? This is a very not scared of anyone squirrel. So cute. Yeah, you get between him and his food. He's eating a little fish and chips right there. So anyway, I asked the lady. She knew. So I knew Cadbury had been bought from an American company. I knew that. And that company has not given Disney permission to sell in that shop. They don't have a contract to sell Cadbury, the American version. And then for the UK version, they can't get it imported in, which I'm assuming because of COVID, which I actually knew an American company bought Cadbury just because I saw it on a YouTube video uh, a couple years, a couple weeks ago, which it's like, darn Cadbury for allowing an American company to buy them. They were, cause I watched this whole hour special about it because a lot of people aren't really happy about it, but your government didn't do anything to stop it. So, cause it's been owned by the original founders for like, I don't know, a hundred years. Don't quote me on any of this. And I guess whoever owned it got tired of running it. And so they sold out. Now it's run by an American company and they really like let a lot of people go they like overhauled like all like turned everything into what am i trying to say like machines like really made it more of a factory where less handmade stuff and more everything run by machines and so now like a chocolate line that would take 14 people to run and now just takes two people and the bazillion dollar machine that they got so anyway google it youtube watch the video if you like cadbury it's a fascinating story so cadbury british version is slightly different than the american version and so i really wanted to get a couple items but they didn't have it not the end of the world because st louis does have a world market and they carry the foreign cadbury so We'll just have to make a trip when we get home, Robert. Especially before Valentine's Day to see if they have anything Valentine's themed. All right, as you can see, we're leaving the park. We're leaving Epcot. We ate everything we wanted to eat. And now we decided to walk over to Hollywood Studios because even though Friday is our Hollywood Studio day, I know there's a couple items I want to buy and when we leave when we go on Friday our suitcases will already be packed waiting in the car because we go to Hollywood Studios straight to the airport oh look at that dog he is watching 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 so we want I want to have the stuff bought today so I can pack it in my suitcase and not worry about trying to pack suitcases in the car. Does that make sense? So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're going to Hollywood Studios, walking from Epcot to Hollywood Studios. We've done it twice now. It's about 15 minutes, no big deal. And it really is nicer this time because it has warmed up 20 degrees, which is much nicer. Because if you watched my video the other day, leaving Hollywood Studios to the Swan, it was freaking freezing. I was almost a popsicle by the time we got back to the room. Not a problem today. Super nice out, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Robert's in sugar coma <laughs> because he ate a lot of the caramel popcorn, which is good. Oh my God, it was so good. 
all right, change of plans. We walked by our hotel and we're like, hey, we need to run in real quick. Drop some stuff off. Take care of some business issues that just popped up. We never really have a true vacation, do we? Always got something to do with business. So I'm back to our room. Answer some emails. And then we'll make a game plan from there. You know what? You just gotta roll. Roll with the punches. Let's see. We are west. I always get confused. To the right. Luckily, we weren't to Hollywood Studios yet before we got a couple emails. They could wait till later, but we want to take care of them now. Hollywood Studios can wait. All right, we're walking around the beach club. All right, we're going to the beach club. Just left the Swan. There's some kind of party going on over there to the left. They got heating lamps. Good for them because it's cold. It's cold. So remember, the Swan is more. It's 48 degrees. It's like a, a a business hotel. There's like conferences and conventions and stuff. All those people are dressed up. So I'm assuming it's some kind of business meeting. So anyway, after we left Epcot, originally we were going to go to Hollywood Studios, but some business stuff came up. So we've just been in the room for the last two hours working. Um, Epcot's now closed. Hollywood Studios closes at seven, but we're not really ready for bed yet. So we decided to walk around. We're gonna go over to the beach club real quick and then finish this loop, just walking around the boardwalk. It's cold, but it's not that cold, like that I couldn't walk, you know what I mean? So it's way honey. It's a little windy. It's a little windy. But we'll just do one loop and then hopefully by then we'll be ready for bed. Cause we are gonna get up in the morning and go to Animal Kingdom. I really enjoyed that yesterday. And then the game plan is Animal Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and then Epcot. That's the game plan. But you know how it is with me. It'll change. It'll change. <laughs> it's beautiful out though. Very beautiful out. So yeah, this is a vacation, but we're always working on business. So when something business comes up, we gotta take care of it. There's never really a true break when you own your own business. No, when you own your own business. You can, you can get away from the laptop for a few, for, you know, a couple of days, but it's just I, with ours, you can't do it. No, you gotta, you gotta, I, I don't wanna get into it because it's our business and a lot of that stuff I keep private because I don't know. This channel's more for fun. Occasionally I'll do a business video, but most part, I like to record for fun. The hotel is beautiful. The lighting is beautiful. There's a golf cart. Don't know what that's about. It's just, it's just fun to walk around, even if we're not like riding a ride. Just being here and walking around is enjoyable for us. The atmosphere. The atmosphere, that's the word. Yeah. The atmosphere. Yes. What's that? What's that 70s reference? Ooh, the atmosphere. <clears throat> yeah. So it has been a good trip. So we got one more full day and half a day. We fly home Friday night. Of course, Friday will be the warmest day. I'm sure. And I'm pretty sure we're supposed to get snow in St. Louis. So hopefully our flight will not be delayed. Anyway, you know what? I'm going to end the vlog here. If something interesting happens on our walk, I'll do a little more video. But let's just assume it's going to be an uneventful, uneventful walk. And I want to just hang out with my husband. So, I, we will talk to you later. See you later. Hit the subscribe button. And good night for now. Alright, one more quick post. Um, we walked over to the beach club and their snack bar was not closed. I thought it closed at nine, but apparently it didn't close till 10. So I was able to pick up this cheese plate. I love cheese plates and it came with crackers. I didn't realize it came with crackers. They have these packaged separately. 
So they also had this box of Ritz, which no big deal. If I don't end up eating them, I'll throw them in the suitcase. But this looks like Brie. This looks like something. <laughs> I forget names of cheeses. That's definitely blue cheese, cheddar cheese, Colby cheese, maybe some dried fruit and some nuts. So it actually looks very, very good for a snack bar cheese plate. Anyway, good night.